Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard, and today I'm going to give you a little tour of pet profiles so you can kind of see how to use them at your business and you can learn uh, maybe some tips and tricks that you didn't know about. So this is obviously the main pet database page, but we're going to go to one pet specifically to their profile and play around there. So let's go to Alfie right here. Click on Alfie's picture. Here we go, we can see Alfie. Alfie is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, neutered male six years old if we hover over the birthday here it says alfie's birthday is september 30th 2015 but join the year makes him feel old so he's a six-year-old little pup there's a picture if we click that delete photo button the photo will get deleted and then uh, we can update and upload a new one but we'll just leave that there for right now because it's already uploaded here we can see the owner is named dallas arrington if you wanted to change the owner of the pet this is something you most likely won't do often but let's say when they sell their dog to a different person and that person starts coming to your business you can change the owner and move Alfie from one uh, owner to another uh, you can see Alfie has some siblings Phyllis and Leslie uh, those are two dogs that uh, Dallas has other dogs phone number for Dallas is this fake one right here and then the email is Dallas at example as we scroll down you can see vaccine expiration tracking these are the five vaccines that our business is currently tracking. Now, where do these come from? If you go up to the business settings menu here, open up that window and come back. If you scroll down to pet vaccine names and expiration tracking, you click there. You can see here we have five different vaccines and these are the names of each of the ones we're tracking. So let's say we get rid of deworming and fleas and let's call fleas, we'll uh, say this one is kennel cough instead. We're going to save that back, save that there. I clicked the uh, update settings button. Go back here, refresh the page, and now instead of fleas, we should see kennel cough expiration. It says vaccine five expiration here because the pet had information saved. Elfie has an information saved here, but the system could not find a special name for it, so it just gave it a generic vaccine five. It looks like he has some um, expired vaccines. So let's go and edit his profile right here. And then let's change all these to future dates. So distemper, it looks good. It's January, 2023. Let's go to February 9th, 2023. Bordetel is very expired. We'll also make that one 2023. Rabies looks good. Kennel cough looks good. Vaccine five, we're gonna get rid of. So we just click on it and then we just delete it. And there it's gone. Date of birth, September 30th, 2015. Let's bounce that up maybe to uh, 2021. And so now he'll just be uh, a little over, what would that be, about six months old. You can add a microchip here, weight information. Let's just make a fake microchip here. And there we go, the weight, he weighs 25 pounds. Color, he's brindle. Um, special billing info, this is something you could say. Um, he gets 50% off because he's friends with the owner, something like that if you want to. Um, if you have any vet information, you can put that there. This, now the Dallas Arrington has vet information saved in his profile. This is only if the pet has special vet information. Wherever you see these little eyes, you can hover over them and they will give you some special information to read. Um, here we have aggression and temperament notes. If we put anything here, um, this will change the dog's uh, color, background color to red. So let's just put, um, he bites smaller dogs. Feeding notes, let's just say, uh, for special needs notes, if you put anything here, it'll change the pet's name to yellow so it stands out. We won't put anything there. Feeding notes, let's say, he eats three cups of dry at noon. Dry at noon. Medication, he needs to take a joint pill at lunch. Here we have grooming notes, incident reports, and general pet notes. So grooming notes and incident reports, those are actually going to be custom appointment, uh, custom fields. So if we go back to our business settings and we click on custom fields here, we can see that we have one custom field, incident reports. The grooming notes is actually just every single pet has that. So if you do any grooming, you would save your grooming information there, and then it'll show up on your grooming calendar. But all pets have that. Incident reports, however, that's one of the custom fields. So you would come here, and you can add up to three custom fields per pet. So let's we have incident reports. Let's say we want to add something like um, walking notes. Who knows what? You can also add custom fields for owners as well as employees right there. Go here, update the settings. 
Now it's not going to show up here right now because we have to refresh the page. So let's just quickly put an incident report. Let's say um, he tried to jump the fence on September 15, September 15, 2022, 2021. Update that information. And now you can see we just put their colors here, weights here, microchip, uh, microchip, special building info. Looks like all of our vaccines are now good. You can see vaccine number five disappeared. Nothing's red, so all the vaccines are well within expiration. And here we have those notes. Um, so aggression, he bites smaller dogs, feeding notes, medication notes, incident reports, all good. If we scroll up here to the homepage, we should see that Alfie now has a red background around his name, which means there is something in his aggression and temperament notes that we need to keep an eye on. If we have just yellow, uh, there's no one with just yellow. If there was just a special note, it would be yellow. And when there's both a special note and an aggression note, the background turns orange as if you combine the two colors. Let's go back into Alfie's profile and see if we can find that um, those walking notes that we added. So if we scroll down here, Sure enough, there are the walking notes. There's that special uh, cu custom field we added. So let's say January 1 went for a great walk. Then we'll do January 5. The walk was super fast. Whatever. You can add, save anything you want here. It's really 100% up to you. Scroll down. And there we have walking notes. January 1st went for a walk. January 5th walked super fast. Down here is where you would upload a document. So let's say we want to upload a document for Alfie. It can either be an image file or a PDF. Uh, we'll do an image file. So let's select this. Let's say this is going to be um, something like a an extra. We'll just upload a <laughs> upload a picture of this Graham. But let's say this is actually a picture of his boarding contract. And so we'll call this boarding contract. Save that. And as we scroll down, you'll see it's getting backed up right now. And if we refresh the page, usually in about a second, it should show up. And there you go. The boarding contract has been uh, added to the account. You, down here, you can see appointments coming up. You can see redeemable passes. You can see invoices for Alfie's owner, Dallas. You can see check-ins, quick notes, training courses, as well as a training course attendance records. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff you can do here. One fun thing that people uh, don't see too often is this alert message. If you put something here in the alert message, it's going to pop up when you try to check this pet in or create an appointment for them. So let's say um, Alfie's owner needs to pay for, uh, for the, a last appointment. You can update the alert message and say, make sure that they pay 100 for the last appointment. Update that message. There we go. It's all saved. Now let's imagine we go to create an appointment on the homepage for Alfie. So we scroll down here on the 14th of January. We click here. We type in Alfie. There he is. We click on his name. And what pops up? The alert message. Make sure they pay 100 for the last appointment. And the aggression notes. He bites smaller dogs. And it'll also show up if you go to the check-ins menu right here. If we go try to check in Alfie. You're going to see the same things that show up there, the alert message and the aggression notes. So those are just things uh, that will catch your eye when you're doing something with this pet. And so that is a quick run through of the pet profile. There's a lot more you can do in Doggy Dashboard, but hopefully this uh, little video has helped you learn a little bit. And if you have questions, email me, patrick at doggydashboard.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.